Sutton asks you where Mo is during Lorene's celebration of life. Sutton, we're in a good place now. Stop. Well, he we were all there. wondering. Where was Mo? Person. He was in Mexico City. He was in Aspen and then Mexico City. Doing his stuff. Yeah. But I, I was wondering, personally. Yeah, I was wondering personally, too. Because this is her childhood friend. And also, the family is here, is there. And so this has got to be hard on Kyle. And you want your husband with you. Kyle, where was, where was Mauricio? Yeah. He was out of town. OK. You know, he also loved Lorraine. I'm sure he did. And, you know, he really did. And she loved him so much. So I was like, listen, when the date that we chose coincided with something that he had already organized and, you know, our schedules of lately have not even been in sync. She's been traveling so much that, uh... You have been. Um, now I'm going to be traveling. Are you going next weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's been hard enough as it is. I didn't want to hear about that. I don't blame you. Then I didn't want him to feel bad hearing that on camera when um, it genuinely was not his fault at all. He would have been there for her uh, and for me. But, you know, I had to choose the state for a certain reason, and he had already had something on the books for a long time for the agency that he couldn't change. So that's the kind of stuff I'm like, okay, great. Now it's going to look like, oh, Mo didn't show up to support you. you know, it's, he an wasn't being, he like, it's an impossible situation. Like, it's an impossible situation. It's an impossible situation. Just don't feel bad about that. Yeah. This is a huge red flag for me. You planned this. You know how many dates before there are. So your husband can plan to be there. I think Morgan was the yeah. big support. When Morgan was singing, Kyle was next to me. I could feel yeah, that, her I emotions. Exactly it's interesting that someone so new in your life can have such a big um, impact yeah. and be such a um, rock. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's always a season or reason. What is Her it? lifetime. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is Morgan's season. It's going to be a long season. It's going to be a long <laughs> season. Lord, help me. Long season. Crystal, tell us about the lunch you had with your brother, Jeff. I've never in my life felt disconnected to Jeff, but I am now the outsider to what's happening in my brother's life. So you saw Vivi. So Vivi, yeah, and I just got everything off my chest. She always felt like she was never actually accepted. By me and mom. Correct. And she's not wrong about that. So Jeff was engaged and was going to have a huge wedding March 2020 mm. in China. Right. And COVID happened. And my brother had lived in Taiwan during SARS. And a lot of scary things happened. And my mom and I wanted my brother to come home. Yeah. And my brother has an American passport. His fiance he didn't, doesn't. And so we called him 100 times a day for days to come home. And he's like, I can't leave her. And we really put a lot of pressure and I could just tell he was resentful to me and I think he ultimately, I've told him that his life is in my best interest, but I think he thought like I was just being selfish and not really thinking about his future and then they ended up breaking up. Mm. So it was just really hard and so for that whole, for a long time, my brother and I just didn't talk too much and I know it was because he didn't trust me. You know, it's cultural too, right? Like, we all have to like protect each other. And he thought that I went so far that it actually destroyed his relationship. Does he feel that way with your mom? I think he probably won't allow himself to go there. There's that respect that yeah. you can't cross. Um, but, you know, I'm American. I was born, I, I shouldn't have put that pressure on him. Like, did you tell him that? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff's awesome. Like. He accepted my, my apology, and we've cried it out a lot together. But I feel bad. I mean, it's obviously emotional for me. Like, Has he seen her? Uh, they're no longer together. Jeff's with someone else now that he adores. But um, I think he really struggled. He needed to have distance from me to really recover from the loss. And I understand that, which makes me feel bad, because I don't want him to separate from me. But that's what he needed. and. It's just, I have 
my lesson to like back off and just be supportive and to not have a say in anything, you know? So that was really a tough year for us as a family.